ericmothersmother.com. Let's take a look at MRO and we're using the daily chart. Here are a couple of observations. Number one, we close at new daily closing highs yesterday. But take a look at what the RSI was doing. RSI was showing lower highs. In other words, the RSI did confirm negative divergence. Keep in mind, as we made this intraday highs push, the RSI closed with the RSI failing to hold above the 61.8 level. This is the worst type of negative divergence, or another way of saying it is the strongest sell signal whenever you make highs with the RSI failing to move above 61.8. Now, we can also see that this corresponds with a recent break. This break is this movement off the highs there. We got a shallow pullback. We take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line. And you can see since the break down here, we have been stalling when trying to move above the blue line. And again, it's important to note here that the blue line happens to be around the RSI 61.8, which means that this resistance here is very meaningful. Now, we can also look at this from the breakout attempt perspective. If you take this daily closing high at 21.90, going back here, we can see that as of right now, as I am recording this, this is more and more appearing to be a failed breakout because we closed above 2190 and now we are below it. So the more this is confirmed as a sell signal, the more this is confirmed as a failed breakout, given the red flags we've seen here with negative divergence, uniformity resistance and all that, this is shaping up to be an instrument that looks to be giving us a sell signal. In other words, from current levels, based on what we see, unless it can break out, this is a stock that looks to be poised for lower prices. Let me add one more other an observation or analysis. It is this line here, which connected the previous lows. Here, 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 close to there, and that low. Now, once we broke below that level, we came off that highs resistance on this line of that daily high. And now we're showing back test failure, which gives us this short term high. So all of these things are pointing to an instrument that is going to struggle. I would say, given what we see, unless it changes, one can anticipate that the next major trend for MRO is lower. Now, this would tie in with my observation that crude oil and USO over the last couple of days and weeks has been in an area where we can expect monthly resistance. Once we see monthly resistance, as we are seeing monthly resistance for USO, chances are this is where we should expect a pullback. Now, if we take a look at USO, what I've been talking about the last couple of weeks is this very real possibility and it's already shaping up to be that way that all crude oil is doing and uso is coming back to test the back test of this line and we are seeing that we are down for the month showing that we are showing resistance around that level keep in mind even here we are looking at rsi 61.8 rejection during this most recent resistance here So again, down for the month, showing resistance on the back test line, RSI 61.8 rejection. That is the reason why I have been leaning on the bearish side. And that is the reason why MRO remains to be a sell candidate, in my opinion. And this should play out over a period of many weeks and many months. So some patience is needed for this to play out. Keep in mind, we are using USO's monthly chart. If you are using the monthly chart, it means that it's going to play out over a series of many months. 
Eric Moad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.